Hello and welcome to another edition of the Red Phoenix Gaming Podcast. Hopefully we'll see an actual logo right here. Um, a little, little thingy? A little, little something or other. That'd be fun. Guitar solo. Explosion? <laughs> and of course, the lightning. Got it. Job. I feel like you get better at that every week. I'm so magical. One of these days, I'm actually going to be shooting lightning out of these fingers. It's going to be amazing. Just like Vader. Anyway, <laughs> I'm your host, Derek. With me, as always, is... Michelle. And we're going to talk about some gaming news stuff and things that happened for this March 21st-ish, yeah, 2015. Set. We're a day we're a day late. And a dollar short, but not That's really. That's right. But really. But really. We had so, dinner last night, like a dinner meeting. Yeah. And we talked about uh, meat sweats, and uh, we ate 20 pounds of different meats. It was amazing. Like we went to Texas and... de Brazil and ate our faces off with our significant others. It was wonderful. Face gone. Oh, so good. Like, they have that salad bar, and they had this, like, huge bowl of bacon. That was the best part of the salad bar. Amazing. Just bacon. <laughs> just delicious giant bowl of bacon that's right and i tried to convince someone to take it to our table and nobody would do it well i almost did but then i was told not to so wow oh, those oh, significant others that's right squandering <laughs> our bacon i know all right what you got dude battlefield hardline came out this week i know how I excited are you I, I actually picked up my copy today, to be honest with you. She wasn't excited at all. But once she heard how great it is, now she's stoked. It's true. People were telling me that it was great and it was fun. And even the single player is pretty amazing. Um, I shelled out the money for it. Yeah, single player is definitely a change of pace. Um, we should probably do some sort of a review on it or a first first take for it or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the... The uh, the single player definitely definitely takes a step away from like the traditional Call of Duty esque gameplay, um, or even the traditional Battlefield gameplay. But the uh, the most exciting part of all of Battlefield being able to drive a couch. Couch driving. <laughs> like I haven't even opened my copy yet because I just bought it and I just got home like an hour ago. But you can ride a couch. Absolutely. Hey, please tell me you haven't seen the video yet. I have not watched this oh my video gosh. you speak of. So in one of the multiplayer maps, you can actually get on a couch and it's it's one of the vehicles. So you can get four people in the vehicle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> one left, one right, one sitting like the center on top of the couch and one on the arm of the couch on the passenger side. Looks awesome. Like We'll have to try this out. Hilarious. Uh yeah, so that'll be probably the best part of the entire game. No offense, Battlefield. You have a really good game, but <laughs> couch driving is the best. Amazing. I love I those little Easter eggs. Yes. So, on other saddening news, did you see this GameStop video? Yeah, I so, think everybody's seen it, actually. So, it's, I mean, we'll, we'll do a little backstory real quick. The GameStop actually has a bunch of people who go to their dumpsters, they go through the things, and they bring back stuff that GameStop just throws away because it's uh, overly damaged or just garbage or defective or whatever the case may be. Um, sometimes people find receipts in there. They have game codes that people just never used, and uh, sometimes they find games, sometimes they find controllers, accessories, etc. So They're dumpster divers. Yeah, exactly, and they go to the places like GameStop because obviously that's what they want. Uh, recently, there's been a YouTube video that came up, and it's labeled something along the lines of GameStop is cheap and greedy or something like that. Uh, but basically, the guy went through, did a dumpster dive, and came out and looked at every single one of the games had all been cut up so that they were unusable. Like intentionally. Intentionally, like. with, with, with some sort of a knife or screwdriver or some damn thing. Yeah. Uh, just like slit. On every single one of them, so that even if you were able to play it, it it's not able to be played. Yeah. And GameStop's come out and they've said like, you know, we 
only discard things that aren't aren't usable we give a lot to charity because that was his thing he's like why aren't you just giving these away a lot of companies or a lot of places can use these games kids charities whoever can use these games and you're just cutting them up and throwing them away and game steps like look we we do give to charity but if the game isn't working or it's defective or whatever we just cut it and throw it out we destroy it and throw it out yeah they're not the only people who do this like other companies whether it's shirts like clothing companies and stuff if their stuff is defective a lot of times they just destroy it and then throw it away yeah i'm sure that gamestop i mean i'm not saying that like i'm not going to sit here and defend gamestop because yeah they should not have some person get getting paid on the payroll to be sitting there going through all the games being like oh we have too many of gta let's slice through this one yeah um but i just think that like we're we're giving them this negative sort of look and i don't necessarily think that they're the only company that does it which means that i guess we should be giving everyone a negative look or what are, what are your thoughts on it i i think it's crappy like if that's what they're doing like they have game systems at hospitals like children in hospitals um stuff like that that these could absolutely go to and if they're just cutting it up out of laziness like what's your problem seriously like what is the problem what's the point and it's I, a tax write-off too like exactly come on. and i think like the whole my whole thing around gamestop and i've said this a hundred thousand times i buy my stuff through best buy because i get money back for it. it might not right. be a lot but i get something back from it and i just hit platinum status for like the fifth year in a row for two for through 2016 right because I, I i go there so much and my thing was if i would bring back a used game you're only going to give me four dollars for it you're only going to give me eight dollars for it and at one point i paid you sixty dollars for it right i think they're really greedy and i don't really care for gamestop to be honest with you i yeah i i'm not again i'm not going to sit here and try to defend them because i don't think what they're doing is right but you, your point is spot on. Like, you pay $60 for a game. Even if you buy the game today, you go home, you play it, you beat it, you bring it back tomorrow, they're going to give you a $15, you know, $15 or $20 of in-game or in-store credit. Yeah. Like, and that's the, that's the highest end, and that's maybe with a deal going on or something. Like, they they get a lot of something for nothing which is I fine know, you could go sell that like on on ebay yeah for, for, like a a game that came out two days later i could go on ebay and sell it easily for forty dollars yep and even fifty dollars somebody would buy it oh yep. 50 bucks free shipping fine yep exactly so Ridiculous. i they they don't really have a good um you know from from a gamer's perspective, it's not a good business model. And then when you see stuff like this, it's just more of a black eye for them yeah. because it's, like you said, it's greedy. It, it, well, even if it's something like, well, we have too many copies of this in inventory or something, fine. You put it in a box, bring it to a charity. Yeah. Put it in Goodwill. Put it in wherever. Like you don't exactly. E even if you give it to a charity that won't use it, maybe they can do it like a yard sale and yep. like you know, I know there's a lot of places that do that. They, they could add that to their sale just to raise money. Don't be jerks. How about that? That's my thing. Will Wheaton's law. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton's law. That's right. Don't be a dick. That's right. Let's move on to some less frustrating news. All right. Probably as as frustrating of a company. <laughs> EA. Electronic Arts. Yeah, they're going to be attending a Star Wars event next month. Why are they going to be attending? I don't know. It's going to be in April, right? April? Yes, it'll be held April uh -huh. 16th through the 19th. And yeah. they initially didn't know why they were attending or like no one had people had speculation, but they weren't sure. Yeah. Uh, EA's come out and they said, look, Star Wars Battlefront, it's to debut next month. So we're going to see some, some sort of Star Wars. Things. Yeah. That, that, I have very high expectations for that game. I think a lot of people are going to have really ridiculous expectations. Yeah. Ridiculous in a good way. Uh, yeah. I don't know if EA is going to be able to pull it off. I know. But... Can you guys deliver? I don't know. Exactly. I hope so. Exactly. Everybody's waiting for this and sweating it. I am so excited for 
then for next month as well as E3 as well as whenever this sucker comes out because I I like I mean obviously I like Star Wars um, but Battlefront is going to be such a Battlefield esque type Star Wars game. It's gonna be a it's like a first person shooter. Yeah, but for Star Wars, oh, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait. I'm so amazing. Stunned. I'm so excited. Speaking of other new games, so uh, you don't have to hide your wife anymore when talking about PGA Tours <laughs> cover. That's because they... EA broke up with Tiger Woods, so That's he's right. not going to be on the cover of their PGA, uh, their game, right? Yep, PGA Tour is now going to be Rory McIlroy instead of Tiger Woods. I've seen that. I don't really think he's that great looking i didn't think tiger woods was that great looking either but right i mean you just want the guy who's the who's at the top of the game right it, yeah. it doesn't really matter i mean even when tiger was like going through all of his shenanigans in like 2012 was, or 2013 he was, he was terrible ter shame on you sir <laughs> we never got to talk about him but shame okay. on you it's not worth talking about but even with his his shenanigans going on, <laughs> uh, he still made it on the on the on the cover of I think 2013 was the last one he made it on, so they didn't do it last year. Do you think that they went with Rory just because he's top of the game, or do you think that he's going to be the next face? I don't know. I think if it, I don't know anything about golf at all, I don't play sports games. I've never like pretended to do that. Like I've played Madden a couple of times, but I don't know anything about golf at all. Um, I don't understand why people play it. Because um, it's fun. I work, I work for a doctor who doesn't golf, so, like, we don't get days off for it. So, I don't know. I guess I, I would think that if he's a, a, a top of the top player, yeah. that's why they would put him on there. It's a big deal when the Madden cover comes out to see who's, you know, on the cover. And I feel like this would kind of be the same thing. And if this guy starts to suck after this year, he's not going to get the cover again. Well, I, so I get that i get the fact that you take the number one guy and you put him on the cover but they've renamed it to rory mcelroy pga tour that's weird why wouldn't you just call it pga tour because they called tiger woods tiger woods right yeah like why not just change it to pga tour and then do a madden type thing where you take a different whoever's the top of the game or whoever is relevant at that time and put him on the front cover i've never heard of this guy it's okay in my life he's like, pretty awesome I at golf is he? I've gotten a couple of like I've heard a couple names in golf, um, but I've never heard of this guy. So I don't know. I I don't know. It's weird. Maybe that's what they'll just keep doing. If he sucks, and then it'll be like some other dude's name for 2016. Sure. I hope they not. Know, they don't know what they're doing. I think so that they're... that game especially needs some sort of like face to it. Yeah, something to hold it down. Something to be holding it down. P O P. <laughs> barely barely i'm legally blind <laughs> so speaking of holding it down our buddies over at nintendo huh yeah with the new system they're gonna has what the heck everybody everybody's whispering about it what they can they, they've even come out formally and been like yep we have a brand new concept for a new system for a blah blah, blah. what I you just you, you got probably my still have your receipt, right? Like for your Wii that you just bought this I Wii. Have the box you? sitting upstairs. Yeah, like and now, <laughs> hey, that's old news. Yeah, you bought it. Wait till you see this one. <laughs> that's right. You bought it. You bought it two years after it came out, or three years after it came out. <laughs> now it's old news. Now it's old. Great. I'm gonna have to start buying Wiis like I buy games and just get out, get the new iteration every time it comes out. Is that what yeah. they're telling me? <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. No, no way, ain't gonna happen. Hold, slow, slow down there. What Nintendo. can they really? What can they really do to to spice things up from the I Wii U? I mean, I don't know. can you maybe like plug your Nintendo DS into the the? You know what I mean? Well, like you can what else? Do that though. Yeah, that's like you true. can already link your DS up, so it's like, what, like what are you gonna? I don't even know what you'd be able to do. Are you just going to integrate it with other things? Like I have no idea. phones and PCs? Because Nintendo's actually come out and said they want to get in the phone market as well. Yeah, they want to do like uh, games, like iOS games and games for Android. So I don't know. They need to calm down. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Calm down. It's too, it's too much. It's yeah, too I, much. 
I mean, even I just don't. I don't know what they're gonna do. Even with the, even with them coming out and being like, yeah, we're gonna go into mobile devices. We want to get, like you said, Candy Crush. Uh, you know, they're gonna make their own Candy Crush game with Mario faces or something. Uh, but even doing that, I don't see them coming in and being able to like either a wedge the market or b why would you send out another console in between consoles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the Wii U came out, what was it, it the year before the other two came out? And it, it did whatever. Um, but you're going to send out another console after people are still on jet lag from the previous two consoles? Yeah, I don't like, know. I feel like I it's a little it's much, too much, right? Too fit. Yeah, way too much too soon, in my opinion. They need to take a step back and focus on one thing at a time. Like, the new 3DS XL, like, oh my gosh, I want I still want to pick one of those up. They got that going. Yeah. In the, you know, they have like this Majora's Mask, which is just out of control. They Killing have it. the, yeah, they have the, um, what, what are the, Amoebos? Amiibos. Amiibos. You know, they're they they're doing that now. They want to branch out and do the video games on the phones and tablets. Yeah. Calm down. Well, one right. One thing I, at a time. I mean, they. I feel like they're just spreading everything out this way, which is fine. Because they're Nintendo. I mean, they're not going to... I really don't think they're going to screw up enough to basically bankrupt themselves. Uh, but they're they're planning on bringing, you know, new games, new IPs, mobile, smartphone. Like, that's fine. But you're going to bring out another console with that? I just don't know yeah. how you're going to juggle everything. And even, like, the Wii... So if it comes out, hypothetically, in, let's say, two years... You're still only giving the Wii a five-year lifespan. The yeah. Wii U. The Wii U. So is that really a long enough lifespan to get full, you know, the the full range of games out of it, or getting the full potential of the console out of it? Or I mean, like, like I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like if they put out a new Xbox or new PlayStation in five years, I'd I'd start to get frustrated because I feel like that's going to be a pattern, and I'm spending. Five hundred dollars on consoles. I have two PlayStation Fours. Yeah. I have an Xbox One. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if I have to keep buying stuff, something's gonna happen where I'm just gonna be like, "Whoa." Well, it, and th that's really what it boils down to. If you end up having to keep buy, you know, keep buying into a system every five years, you're gonna end up looking into a system like a PC, where you buy into a PC once and then you just run it to whenever it stops for the yeah. next eight to ten years. Listen, and listen upgrade Nintendo. as you go. You are not Apple. You can't no. put out something every year and have people like me go buy it. Especially only Apple can do that. Especially ten thousand dollar watches. Or whoa, whoa. hundred thousand dollar diamond watches. I can't even respond to that nonsense. That's, you can totally respond yes. to it. I do want a gold MacBook Pro though. My husband doesn't listen to our podcast, but Somebody should let him know. He should still not buy you a gold MacBook Pro. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm a good our friend friendship. Of all, but... I'm looking for <laughs> a new co-host. This is going to be really hard for you. <laughs> tired. <laughs> With only having one person doing it. I can snore fast. That's what now, your pod. Please. That's what your podcast can be. Snore fast. Call it Red Phoenix Gaming. Snore fast. Yes. Oh goodness. <laughs> Moving on to something else that comes out Tuesday yes, that we're super I, yes. stoked about. Totally pre-ordered it. Borderlands. Collection. Absolutely. So let's talk about this real quick because they just came out with instructions on how to carry over your existing, you know, Borderlands 2, pre-sequel, whatever, to the new collection. Doesn't apply to me. Doesn't apply to either of us. And this is because we played all of them on Xbox. Tray 60. Yep. And... We bought them for PlayStation 4. Right. So, good. So when I go to pick it up and put it in my PlayStation, I will not be able to take Maya, who I spent half a billion hours making her the most amazing siren in the universe. I got to start over. But I love this game so much, I'm kind of okay with that. Because it's going to be a whole new experience on a brand new console, which is way superior to my other console. So, I'm kind of okay with it, but kind of not at the same time. For one specific reason. We've gone from 360 
and we both have the Xbox One, both have PS4s, but we decided to go PS4 because that's what we've been playing more. It's better. And it's better. Uh, that's that's opinion, of course, but it's better. It's our opinion. Um, Collaboratively, like together, there's two of us right. that right. think this. So Two for two means it's got to be true. My husband thinks that PlayStation 4 is way superior to Xbox and thinks I am dumb that I got the Xbox. We got to have the Xbox for, for when Gears comes out for E3, but we'll get to that. Okay. So <laughs> the one yeah. reason that I don't care for this is that when you're cross-saving or cross-playing or cloud-saving or whatever, all you are is taking little bits of data that say, like, you are... You wear this head style, this thing, you're at this level, blank, blank, blank. And it's just like little counters. And it, if it has a yes, then it gives you it. If it has a no, then it doesn't. Like, super easy, right? Why can't you just be like, this can link up to your Gearbox account, which I have. And then when yeah. I carry it over, I get it. As opposed to just not getting anything when I'm going uh, to My business. Assassin's Creed, my Uplay, I played every single thing on xbox xbox 360 xbox one until this most recent game came out yep and i played that on playstation 4 went right into my you play and bam it saw all the games that i played exactly didn't give me credit for it for me to get my Ezio costume but whatever but still so, that's so how it transferred that's how it got the information right so I don't understand why Gearbox can't do the same for us, even though we sing their praises on almost every single podcast. Absolutely. And again, I'm not necessarily mad about this. I mean, we'll play no, through it. We'll get all the weapons we currently have or better weapons than we currently have. Um, but I just think that it would it sucks that we have to waste the time to do it. I want to write them an email. A strongly worded email? No, just like a... Like, a, you know, how much I love them and how much I love their games and how I really wanted a $499 claptrap, but I wasn't allowed get to it. spend $499 on it. So I just had to get the regular one and <laughs> tell them how much I, I talk about them on my little podcast with three subscribers and how come I can't just have this hooked up to my little thing That's on right. the interwebs. That's right. And I'm, just so everyone knows, if you are going to get it for the same console family, uh, you do get like 75 golden keys. Just, you do get a healthy chunk of badass rank. So golden golden keys lets you open this like magical like chest, and it's mm -hmm. got super rare items in it. Sometimes it's shields, sometimes it's guns, but it's always awesome. So yeah, um, so sucks. we're gonna miss out on that. We we'll just have the to nice go back to is, whoring up our follow on Twitter, Facebook, and, and Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, they give you the keys all the time too. Like they'll send you out five like every couple of days, so that's yeah. okay, I guess. But oh, uh, oh well. Maybe we, if I send that to them, I can get seventy-five keys for us. Like I said, it should just click and be like, "Oh, you have a Gearbox account? Yes, we will give you keys." That's it. Should be that easy. Even Here's a hundred keys. Even if I don't have my saved characters, I'm okay with that. Just give me just all the extra the stuff. Yeah. Get the keys. Can I have that? Can I have them <laughs> keys? Can I have it? Let me get them keys. So, I almost freaked out today because I thought today was Sunday. It's not. What's with people? I like two right? people told me today was Friday, and I'm just like, I should have been at work, and I'm and not like, crazy. Nah. Everybody else is. Okay. Everyone's crazy. So I yeah. thought today was Sunday. I got really nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm watching like NCAA tournament was on, so I was watching some of that, and I was like, oh my god, I miss Walking Dead. Walking Dead, oh my god, no, I would be like, Didn't I miss send you the, Dead. yeah, there's a skull <laughs> emoji. emoji that you get <laughs> when it's almost time. That's right, you're like, get ready, skull face. Cause, yeah, because if you guys don't know this, we watch Walking Dead simultaneously, and he is several seconds ahead of me. And then I ruin everything. Yeah, <laughs> but then we get to talk about it. Absolutely. So. But speaking of Walking Dead, so... Yeah. Overkill is coming out with a new game that's going to be Walking Dead. They talked about it at South by Southwest. Yeah. And it is going to be like Payday. Yeah. Just in a bigger world. Are hey, you stoked? I think it'll be kind of cool. I love Walking Dead. Um, I love the franchise. I started to read the books, but I kind of stayed away from them because I've been watching the show. 
and um, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I, I I love the Telltale game, so I do too. Well, so far I haven't actually finished it, but either way, I really like the Telltale game. I think the story's good. I think that Walking Dead gives you enough flexibility, and it's not a, just a traditional zombie game. Like there's more to it. Yeah. Um, I would just wish that they would be able to do a legitimate like uh game for it. You know what I mean? Like the everyone who's come out with like a zombie horror games, they never have a good sort of like accumulation of what a zombie game should be. Yeah. And I'm hoping that The Walking Dead comes out with something that is that way. You know what I mean? Like it actually yeah. gives you the the chance of being in the shoes of Rick or walking around with Rick's group or whatever, you know, being person X. Or like Carl Carl. Carl Papa. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken jar jar do. If you don't know what that is, you should definitely, definitely Google it. Carl Papa. It's right. on YouTube. It's That's called right. a bad lip reading. It's the greatest thing. Could could quite possibly be the greatest thing that you've You're ever welcome. seen on YouTube. Absolutely. Besides us. Well, of course. Duh. Um, let's see. So let's let's VR some, because I know how much you love VR. Why are you being bitter? You love VR. It's okay. You don't have to hide it from everyone. One of these days, I'm just going to get one, and I'm going to play with it. And I'm either going to be like, everything I said is true, or I'll be totally changed. And you're, if you're totally changed, you're going to live stream births in VR? You know, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> so, Gear VR headset, like, Samsung live streamed this birth. Yes. This woman went into labor. Her husband was a day's flight away. Yep. And they did VR, and he got to see the birth of his child. At least virtually. Yeah. I think childbirth is gross. I've done it twice. And, um, but to give the spouse or anyone that you would want there like even like like if your mom lives across the country and can't get there yep. like my mom lived really far from me she flew in like a day after i had my my first daughter like i think this is great could you imagine okay. like using this for guys that are like overseas deployed yep exactly so i love this love it even though it's creepy so it's virtual reality i love it too he didn't experience maybe the worst part of childbirth which is the smell and that's fine um <laughs> <laughs> but if he was using oculus he get the little mist of scent and then he'd yes. be all set yes um, after birth <laughs> <laughs> all birthing aside i mean vr aside uh, i i think it's great i think it's an awesome opportunity for them to do something like you were saying with people who are de deployed or you know whoever the whatever the case may be um to be there for the first for any i shouldn't say not just your first but for any childbirth is an amazing experience for yeah any potential fathers out there um mothers obviously you'll have to be there but uh <laughs> i'm pretty sure my father was in japan when i was born so that would have been a perfect opportunity for vr to be around yeah although I don't think Watch in the 1902 no. okay. they had VR. I led myself right up for that. I did. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I think it's great. I think it's a. I think it's a great selling tool for them to like oh, yeah. say like, look, if you can't be there for your childbirth, here you go. Or not even just childbirth, but like, you know, first steps, walking across, you know, to get their diploma. The, there's countless of things that oh, are yeah. all like life events that you could piggyback off of for selling points. Yeah. Like my nephews and my sister and brother-in-law live in California. My brother-in-law, he right now is deployed. And like if they, you know, if my nephew is like graduating from like kindergarten up to first grade, that's an opportunity he would miss. And I yeah. think that would be pretty cool for him to, to be able to see that because it's really important to him. Word up, Will I am? Will. Billiam. That's right. Yeah. But he'd have to use his Windows PC to see it. He could do that. Because he doesn't free. have VR. Yeah. 
Speaking of Windows and PCs. And Windows Live. Pirates, Windows which I didn't actually talk about, but we'll talk about pirates now. Uh, Yarr. What is the what's a pirate's favorite word? Letter, favorite letter. Uh, B, for booty. That, you failed. You failed. No, that's wrong. Uh, uh, A. R. X, because it marks the spot. It's R. Say R. That, that doesn't. It's it's started. It starts with an A though. It's A A R G H. I'm not playing this game with you anymore. You've totally ruined it. So, You've ruined it. Now that Moving I've ruined on. pirate jokes for Michelle. Moving, moving along. When did you hear that? 1912? No, I heard it at Disney it, World. From Captain Hook? No. Mr. Smee? No. Peter Pan? No. I, all right, I'm out of Peter it Pan's just people. A, a fantastic cast member that told us a funny joke. They're not allowed to talk. A cast a cast member, not like I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> yes, you are. You the, can't the stop talking to me. This podcast, podcast get really boring if you stop in talking. Silence. <laughs> so, speaking of pirates, here's your, here's your new podcast. If you okay, perfect. So, baby Groot, if you happen to pirate <laughs> your PC version of Windows Seven, you can actually get a free upgrade to Windows Ten. Boom! You're welcome. I am Groot. <laughs> what are what are your thoughts? So you're I saying if I stole a copy of Windows 8, I can have Windows 10 for free? Yes, that's exactly Why? what I'm saying. Cause Why are they doing that? They said flat out, we're upgrading all qualified PCs, genuine and non-genuine. That means that giving. any person who's got Windows 7 or 8 can get Windows 10. So, free. Microsoft, so Microsoft is giving free Windows 10 to any other Microsoft Windows user, if they paid for it or not, at no charge. Yep, and it's launching this summer. And those PC users will also get Windows Live for no charge. That That is also correct, yes. I will... see a pattern here. I feel like Microsoft loves PC users more than their Xbox users. So here's the thing. Oh, also they're going to get League of Legends preloaded into windows 10 you will care oh, eventually sorry, I fell asleep. Uh, but here's the thing i think what microsoft's doing is it's saying look we know in the past and they're doing kind of with xbox too they're saying look we know in the past we haven't really done everything you thought we were supposed to do with xbox it was hey look at all these things you can do with your tv and then the next e3 they were like oh we're we forgot we're a gaming thing let's talk about gaming <laughs> yeah for Windows 10, I think they're saying, look, we know that everyone likes Macs. We're going to show you what we have and give it to you for free. So you don't even have to worry about any sort of investment into this. Just come try it out type thing. And then once you like it, you're stuck with them because Microsoft has such a huge foothold that um, you're either Mac or your PC or you're a nerd who likes Linux. So... I think you're kind of giving so much out for free, even if it's just an operating system. You're just saying, look, trust us again. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's their olive branch. It's them saying, come check us out. And you're like, all right, I'm an idiot, so I'll check it out. Well, I mean, I, my operating system, every time a new one comes out, I get it for free. I, I'm a house divided. I am well, uh, I'm a Mac. I'm on, right. obviously, and operating system for Mac. My husband is a PC and he runs Windows. Right. But and the the thing about that is maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're taking a page out of Mac's book and saying, well, Mac gives everybody a free upgrade to whatever their depends on what animal it is. is. Yeah. Sometimes, you know. Or a Maverick or, you know, mountain snow leopard puma thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> But yeah, I, I, they could be taking a page out of their book. They could just be saying, hey, give us a chance. They could be doing a combination of it. But I think that it's smart by Windows to say, look, even if you had something illegitimate, we're going to give this to you for free. Like, yeah. hop on board. Yeah. I'm currently running Yosemite. Is that after Maverick? Before yeah. Maverick? I think it's after, and it's. I'm not sure if it's like Yosemite National Park or Yosemite Sam. That's the one. I feel like. I'm rubbing to it. Can't flip it. 
Anyway. With his Fu Manchu. I wish I had a Fu Manchu that twirled at the end. Way down here. Yes. I, I don't know if you can see it, but way down here. Amazing. So, moving on to things that you actually care about. Marcus Phoenix Collection is not coming out. But, but, they may have Gears of War E3 news. First of all, be mildly if, excited. If Rod Ferguson, who helped create Gears, yes. who left Epic Games and he went over and worked on Bioshock Infinite to wrap that out, and now he is with Black Tusk, who is run by Microsoft, now he's doing this new new project for Gears of War. Yes. If he does not come with anything substantial for me at E3, I'm going to be really upset. And we could do a full 40-minute podcast about how Michelle is so bitter at Rod Ferguson and Black Tusk Studios. You hear that, Rod Hold Ferguson? On. You hear it? Pay attention. Better also, be recognized. I think that because we've always thought that there would be some kind of Marcus, like Master Chief collection. Give me a Marcus, a Marcus Phoenix collection. I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy it immediately. And I'm going to play it to death on the Xbox One that I don't even play anymore. Yeah. And I feel like they say other exciting Gears projects, plural, to calm people like me down. And I feel like they're just saying it to, like, calm me down. Yeah, I, I mean, Phil Spencer's come out and said, like, the game they're working on now is making huge progress. But... Show me. That, yeah, that doesn't mean anything else unless you can stick a picture, a moving Just picture, a, preferably. Or even a screenshot. I'll take a screenshot at this point. I'd prefer the moving the one. Because at the last E3, all I got was an omen, and I lost. My head exploded. I lost my absolute mind. If nothing else, during that Microsoft thing that they did at E3, that's all I can remember is the omen at the very end. The worst part about it, though, is I remember you texting me and being like, did you see the omen? And I was like, no, I didn't. I was like, I didn't even God. see it. And it's you're the greatest like, thing ever. You're like, they're going to be there. Gears is going to be there. Just wait. There's, there's going to be another conference. They're going to be there. And then they never were. And I was just like, I'm glad I didn't get my hopes too high up there. <laughs> and mine, like my, uh, this is my whole, my whole reason I game is because of this game. And... He better. He has to come with something. Rod. Tore, tore you down. Just so we can build you back up. Oh my god. Don't don't upset me. Don't hurt me. I have a whole like a whole community of Twitter people that I have built this like friendship with over the last three years because of Gears of War. We, That's Jason, right. Jason, Shout out to the oh. lazy one. Like, he is the whole reason we're friends and everything because of Gears of War. Like, That's right. This is community. You need, to, you need to fulfill the community's request. They better bring it. I'm going to write him a letter, too. Well, it's been, let's see. So, Gears 1 came out in 06, Gears 2 in 08, Gears 3 in 11, and then Judgment in 13, I believe. I yeah. Think. Um, so it's been two years, so nope. they're due for another yeah. one. Wait, which one came out in 2012? One None. of them. Are you sure? Gears Matt. 3 came out in 11. Judgment came out in 13. Uh, because remember I was pregnant. Do you want me to confirm? Uh, yeah, I can confirm. I feel like Gears 3 came out in 2012 because when Expletive Deleted died at the end of Gears 3, I cried a lot and I didn't know why. And it's because that I was growing a human. 6, 8, 11, 13. End of the year in 11? Uh, yeah, Fourth probably. Quarter? Okay, well then that makes sense. Probably. I don't remember the exact. But it has to be. Has to oh. be. Anyway, so, yes. So, Gears is due. It's been two years. They're You're due. overdue, gentlemen and That's ladies. Right. That's right. Do it. All I'm right. I'm going to do a throwback Thursday and play some Gears 3. So since we were talking about some Xbox game, let's show PlayStation a little love, even though it's multi-platform now. Metal Gear all right, Solid. all right. Oh, you know. oh, Kojima. 
That's right. Is going to be out like a light bulb that has blown. What? Yeah, out. He's done. He's goodbye. Right now, they're just using him. I think they had some kind of horrible, horrible falling out. So Kojima is like the like the man in yeah. at Konami for Metal Gear. And he has been uh, there since like 1986. Yeah, so like were you, when you were alive? like I wasn't. You were like 43 <laughs> and I wasn't alive yet. Um so he's been the brains behind Metal Gear Solid from uh, fruition from the very beginning. Yep. And now he's treated he's still at the top. He's still saying that for Metal, Metal Gear Solid 5 this is going to be the best game that he's ever done yep. and he wants everyone to support it, but in my opinion because there's been these rumors that he's leaving he is treated more like a contractor. Him and his executive team yeah. are being treated like contractors, and their contract d ends in December. And like all of his production stuff has been removed from Twitter. It's been removed from the Metal Gear Solid website. Yep. You have been directed to a brand new Twitter for Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. And I feel like they had a terrible falling out. And because you know, with the Japanese culture, they're so proud and they're so proper that they're acting as if everything is nice. But I think something really crappy happened. And I think in December, they're not renewing his contract because that's how they're treating him now. And he has nothing left for them. And he is just going to be like, goodbye. See you later. See, I see it in two separate, two separate thoughts. So, A, I think of it as he's, he, I think he probably wants an out. I mean, he said before that, I think it was 3, Metal Gear Solid 3, was supposed to be Snake's final thing. He was, That was supposed to be the end of Metal Gear, was Patriot, or was that 4? I don't know. Whatever the case, the one where there's something that happens at the end, and you think something happens, and then you find out that thing didn't actually happen, that one was supposed to be, like, the last game. Then this game came out, so you're like, all right, there's another game, that's fine, whatever. I think he's just at the point where he's like, I don't necessarily like want to do metal gear anymore he's like it's run its he course. wants to, to move on and do something different and they might not have that same want maybe. oh for sure i mean if if he's not 100 percent into anything further after this because he's already reassured everyone he's like look i'm 100 percent involved still i'm gonna finish the game as soon as the game's done then and then you know it is what it is and it's but, gonna be amazing he said he said this right. is gonna be it'll be his best game to date yeah that's what he says so I I think he just wants to, like, I think he basically has an out this way. And whether it's him being pushed out or him deciding he wants to leave, I mean, we won't know unless you're going to turn into a fly and be sitting there on their wall, um, which would be awesome. But, like, they, they've been looking for people to, like, new staff members to come in and be part of the next Metal Gear game. Right. You know there's going to be another game. Maybe he's just like, look, it should be over with. It should have already died. Yeah. But we keep we keep milking the cash cow. So maybe that's maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the reason for the falling out. If there was one, it's look, I want it to be done, and they're like, look, we want to make more money. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what it's doing. Yeah. But yeah, I it's going to be sad to see him leave. But at the same time, it's. Time for I mean, him to move along. Yeah, if, if he Start comes up with ventures. something else, exactly. He, I'm sure he's he's a brilliant guy, so I'm sure he will be able to come up with something new. But yeah. Either way. What so, else? I don't know if you know this, but it is spring training. Baseball season is almost here. I love baseball, actually. Yeah. I, I'm not like a huge pro baseball player, um, watcher, but um, we have a a baseball team here who I don't even know if they're affiliated with the Cleveland Indians anymore or who they're affiliated with the Buffalo Bisons. And yeah. um, I thoroughly enjoy going to their games. Like I go to several games during the summertime. My kids love baseball for it. Um, I, I've only been to one major league game and that was Toronto Blue Jays game. Um, but yeah, I love baseball. Yeah. I think we're affiliated with the Blue Jays now. 
Toronto. Are we, we used to be affiliated with the Cleveland Indians because I don't know. Do you know who Manny Ramirez is? I do know who Manny is. When he got injured with the Cleveland Indians, um, he was out. He healed up, and then he came um, to the Bisons for like five games. I went to yep. every single game that he played. So in. did uh, so did Coco Crisp. He had a stint with the Bisons, oh. where he was on injury. He was injured, and he came but came up and played. And yeah. Um, he was one of the, th- the driving points that I was like, I want to play outfield. I want to play center field. I want to be like <laughs> him. And I was nowhere near as fast as he was. But, yeah, it was, it's cool to see major players. Um, and, yeah, I uh, the Bisons are awesome. I yeah. Mean, whenever we can get a chance, we like to go. But speaking you of baseball. You live way too far away. I do. It's inappropriate. They, <laughs> that's right. Uh, MLB The Show. 2014. Yeah, 15, 2015 comes out. Yeah, I don't play games like that. Uh, it comes out in like a week or something. It oh, comes out very soon. soon. Yeah, maybe it's May. I don't know. It comes out soon. Uh, like a month. I don't know. Whatever the case. But they're going to be dropping online support in June for 2014. Oh, to get ready for the new one? Yeah, but let me ask you this quick question here. You're going to turn off all of your servers for a game that's not even a year old or that is just over a year old? That's pretty stupid. Are you okay with this? That's like going back to Call of Duty 4 and not being able to play. Yeah. Or Modern Warfare 2 or 3 and not you being able to play. You should go into Modern Warfare 3 and see what it, what happens. Every time. We should see that. I'm sure it'll be hacked. I know. But it would be pretty cool. <laughs> it would be pretty cool. Um, but do you think it one year is long enough? Not at all. I, I mean, mean, two, maybe three years, then shut it down. But I wonder what's behind that. Is it financial? Is it space? Is it equipment? Like, I, I would like to know what's the issue if you shut something down that quickly. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, um... From from their perspective, if it's like, well, we need the servers for the 15 or what the case may be, because uh, usually they have such a server farm, they have such a cluster of stuff that they're able to not worry about offloading or turning them off piece by piece when it's not needed. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know why they just decided that now's the time to shut them off or that, you know, a couple of months after the next one comes out, it's time to shut them off. Yeah. Um, I don't intend on buying 15. I bought 14 last year, and I have not really played it that much. So I'll play 14 a couple more years probably before I buy the next one. You know what you should do? You should send them a heated letter about your disappointment, and then you should break the disc, and you should throw it in a GameStop dumpster. No. Why would it? No. Jeez Louise. That's exactly what you should do. I should just take it. All of my games, put them outside and take my riding lawnmower and just run over it and put it on YouTube. Did you see that kid that they did that to? The dad did. did that. I did. You can get lost in his channel because there's a bunch of shenanigans like that in their channel. That would be horrible. I actually felt bad for that kid. But then he threw a temper tantrum and I'm like, that kid's probably a dick anyway. So you should see the rest of them. They're pretty funny. Um, moving <laughs> on to the, my, last, my last thing that I want to talk about. Uh, we, we like to occasionally talk about how fitness w- could be easier, or more fun or anything like that. Right. Cause sure. we've started up and then stopped and then gone back and forth with workout plans and exercises and this and that and whatever. Right. Yeah. Atari has actually come out with a thing called Atari fit where it motivates you to work out and then you can unlock games based off of workouts. How do I sign up for this? I am I right? Like cuz I'm going to do that immediately. I want this so I can be like, "Oh, I'm going to go for a jog." And then when I get done, I look down, I'm like, "Oh, sweet, I can now play Pong or insert Hubert. name here." Hubert. Perfect. Pitfall. Pitfall. So many. Yeah. But yeah, great idea, right? I love it. I'm going to download it. We should. And is then it we for should... like your like is it is iOS it like... and Android. Excellent. Let's go Get right it. on my iPad. Get it now. Do Thank it. Thank you for caring about 
I don't even know who owns Atari anymore. It's changed hands like 153 times. Right. That's an exaggeration, but. Thank you, Atari. Thanks. I will totally do that. I appreciate that. Let's put the link for that in the bottom, down in the in the description, if anybody I'll, is interested in that. I'll try to remember to do that. You won't, and I'll do it. Don't you? Don't you guys worry. Don't you worry about it, Drew. So. <laughs> Thanks, I'm girl. also going to put a link in the bottom, too, because um, a friend of mine made, like, this short little short little video. His name's Trevor. We've talked Trevor? about Trevor before. And um, there's a little PlayStation 4 cameo in it. It's pretty sweet. You guys got to check it out. Yeah. So we'll put that link down there, too. There was one more thing I was going to talk about, but it's going to take up a long period of time. So seeing as how a we're already over. A long periodical time. A long period of time periodical time you drunk uh so fine we will probably discuss next time um but it involves females not wearing clothes so boy <laughs> yolo no i'm just kidding don't say that word um but yeah so let's uh we'll we'll speak about that next time and uh like comment subscribe facebook twitter all of website, it. all that stuff. Put all that down then here below. And you know what? You want us to talk about something? Put it in the comments. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll comment away. We tweet all day long too, by the way, at Red Phoenix Gaming on Twitter. Sure do. Tweet at us, bruh. And by all day long, she means whenever somebody tweets at us, then we talk all day long. You tweet quite often. I do. We <laughs> tweet quite often. Okay. All right. That's a, that's all I got. Is that all you got? That's all I got. Lovely. Hashtag bye. Hashtag bye.